Okay. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. You may have seen a recent video of mine where I attempted to steal an F8 Lightning. Uh, it's the most exclusive, most expensive ship in the game that you can no longer fly. But it wasn't completely pointless because now I think I have a manned AI hammerhead. So this is a uh, frigate ship. Um, as you can see, it's got turrets all around it. And because this was uh, an NPC ship, I think I can now use this against enemies. So we're going to test that theory. Um, I've got a really simple bounty here. Uh, just a medium risk target just to see how we get on. Because uh, this will be freaking <laughs> sweet if this works, honestly. So let's give it a go. Right, we're going to have to go to OM4. And then ping on down to selling. Normally, you can't use this ship solo. <laughs> because you have no access to weapons as the pilot, so you either need a full crew, or um, you just use missiles, but that's kind of ridiculous. So, um, yeah, if this works, this actually might be a viable strategy for um, <laughs> running missions for a while. You do what I did in my last video, still the hammerhead. It was actually very simple to do, and then, um, yeah, just crack on. Do, do some normal bounty missions. It's genius. Oh my word, this is actually the dream. I don't know why they don't let you have NPCs in your, like, hammerhead. Like, honestly, I understand this is meant to be, like, a multiplayer MMO-style game. It's not meant to be played solo, but why restrict yourself, you know? Have that option, if it works. Well, we don't actually know if it works. <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> let me find out. So, I believe... Uh... Please tell me these guys aren't in bunkers, because if so, this is the wrong kind of contract. Oh no, here we go. So we've got Cutlass Black, so these guys are going to actually turn red. There we go. Right, so let's see if my... Awesome. Oh, oh my word, I think this is going to work, guys. Is it going to work? Please work. Pl oh my word, this actually works. <laughs> Okay, so it's actually working, guys. Yes! <laughs> this is great! Go, AI, go! <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so the problem with this, right, is I have to do all the flying. I don't get to do any shooting, which is a little sad. And I've got to do decoys all the time. But, honestly... And also, I'm relying on AI, which, as you probably know, might not be that much of a good idea. Um, but hey, this seems... I think they actually got him. <laughs> this is actually brilliant. That actually works. So they shot someone behind. Oh, man. Where did the other guy go? That is actually so cool. Genuinely. So did we get him? No, we didn't. Okay. Here we go. I don't think he'll fire any missiles. The only thing about being in this view is you don't see when missiles are coming towards you. Uh, which is a bit of a pain, but... Let's watch this in action. <laughs> oh, I hate the fact that CIG are totally going to stop me doing this in the future, but... Oh, yeah. Well done, AI. I am all for my AI overlords. Right, let's go to the next location. This is brilliant. <laughs> so good. Right, on to my next target here. Uh, I should, like, if you got to the, this point in the video and you're mad at me for showcasing this, um, I get it 100%. Like, enjoy the rage. Enjoy the comment. I hope you feel better afterwards. But what I will say is, um, <laughs> you know, the fact I've pointed this out means hopefully it gets some light shared on it. So, uh uh, hopefully CIG can address it. Um, if CIG don't like this, they should have let me fly the F8 Lightning is all i got to say. So, joke's on them. <laughs> I am so upset I missed that. And uh, as punishment, I share with the world the AI hammerhead. I'm lashing out, guys. Chris has upset me. I'm joking. I'm not that upset. I'm really not. I'm fine. Stop asking! 
<laughs> ah! Alright, he's our next target. Oh, oh, an F7. Wow. It doesn't beat Hammerhead, does it? The only, like I say, the only problem with this setup is you are just flying. It's kind of like the novelty of, you know, the AI shooting is fun. I mean, it's going to look freaking great in this view in a minute uh, once we get close enough. But, yeah. There's a lot of ships here. This would be a hard, quite a hard contract, to be honest. All right, go, my minions. Destroy them. Oh, that looks so good. I'm just gonna... Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> that looks so awesome. Oh, my word. Oh, honestly. So cool. Literally destroying all of them. It is so good. That guy's on fire. What more do you want? Are you not entertained? Oh my word. Trying to get a view of every. I mean, the nice thing is, I don't have to worry about actually shooting anyone. I can just watch the gun show. <laughs> there you go. There's one. I'm trying my best to fly and do cameras. It's so hard. Here they are. Yeah, so the trick is, if you want some advice, fly slowly and then... Um, that AI will... Like, the enemy, sorry, will kind of catch up with you. Because they'll always try and kill you, like... I've literally missed almost every explosion. Let's see if I can reverse it. Get a bit closer. There we go, there's another one. Literally obliterated them all. Oh, there's one more! Dented. Right, last guy. I'll try better, guys. I promise. It's not easy. Alright, this might be the most challenging out of all of them. Um, I have to navigate through an asteroid field with a hammerhead, uh, which is going to be tricky, because it's pretty damn large. Um, as long as I look at where I'm going and I, you know, I, I'm not reckless, I should be fine. Uh, but I think actually a good strategy might be <laughs> just to literally pull up alongside the enemy and wait for the AI to do the work. Um, this ship is so powerful, has so much firepower, I don't think we're going to run into an issue. Uh, I could be wrong. The other thing I really want to know and find out is if I can, if I log out in this ship, will the AI be in this ship, you know? That would be kind of a cool thing. I don't think so, but persistence is a thing. So there's like, at least a small chance that maybe the AI persists. I'll test that in an upcoming video um, and let you know. So make sure you subscribe for that so you don't miss it. But, right, here's the enemy. What we got? Cutlass Black. Just Cutlass Black so far. All right. It's not too bad. Is it literally just a Cutlass Black? I mean, that's just embarrassing. Really? Ah, there we go. All right, and then we've got another F7. Must be a couple more smaller ships. There we go. Uh, we've got a Saber. Nice. So these are, this is like a challenging pact to come across solo. This is definitely not that simple. All right, they've locked onto us. I've got decoys. All right. <laughs> All right, AI, you've got one job. Let's do this. Literally going to let them f fire all their missiles and then just park. It's going to be great. You missed. Oh, my word. Look at this. <laughs> 
Oh, it's so good. Oh, guys, don't crash into me. What's wrong with you? Right. Let's just park, see what happens. This is now an experiment. AI versus AI. Who will win? Is that a missile coming towards me? Uh, no, we're good. <laughs> it's, it works flawlessly. <laughs> they can't stop me. I mean, they might. This guy's... No, they're all gonna die, aren't they? Look at this guy. This poor, this poor F7. Literally, emergent gameplay. I don't want to miss someone exploding. Hey, caught cool, that one. Are we doing all right inside? Yeah, we're doing fine. I mean, it's just such a big ship. The likelihood of like being blown up is so slim. Like they're not using ballistics, so the shields are just so tanky. But they're actually struggling to hit that guy. He is doing evasive maneuvers. There we go. <laughs> See this? Okay, this is the problem. The AI is struggling with this guy. So what do I do? Do I let him chase me and then... They've got an easier target. I think he's strafing too much for the AI. Let's try this. So if I get him behind me, he'll be an easier target. Yeah, there we go. There's no one in, there's no, yeah, okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, you better run. He's lost a wing, that's hilarious. There we go. Mission accomplished. Wait, what are you guys shooting? Chill out. They're celebrating. So, yeah, there we go, guys. This is lit. I'm going to cut this short. This is literally just... Wait, hang on. There's one more thing I need to test. Can I refuel it? Can I... If I can repair and refuel... This is genius. Oh, wait. No, no, shit. Or is that just one that blew up and didn't quite blow up? Yeah, okay. Right, yeah, let's see if I can refuel this. And, um... Yeah, then we'll sign off. Alright, so here we are. Port also? Uh, let's see. Landing gear. Down. Oh my word, I thought landing gear wasn't going to work then. <laughs> that would have been an issue. But we're good. Yeah, sweet. They've granted me access. Okay, another good sign. Have a little look here. Hope it's a big landing spot. Yeah, it's going to be chunky, but chunky space. Oh, this is, if this works, it's going to be next level. Right, got to be careful here. Oh, don't want any accidents. Mm -hmm. Do you have a light on? Okay, no lights. Cool. <laughs> Why is there no lights at the space station? It's so dumb. Right, cool. Engines off. Here is the moment of truth, guys. Um, let's have a look. So we go to the vehicle maintenance. Oh, <gasps> no way. Okay, so the ultimate test now is whether or not this thing allows you to, like, go to sleep in it and get back into it. It's not a massive deal. Like, it wasn't that hard to get. Um, very easy, in fact. But, yeah, it would be real interesting to see refuel in progress. Okay, we'll see if that actually works. But, um, <laughs> that's genius. 
Okay, all done. I think all the refuel missiles. Yeah, refuel definitely works, guys. So, yeah. I say. See you guys in the next episode where we're going to find out if uh, it survives. The Drake Caterpillar, eh? See you next time.